Hey everybody, we are gonna go to Beals today. So first I went over to the purses and I saw this tie-dye purse. I know tie-dye is really in um, right now. And they had a couple other tie-dye kind of things. These are just the wallets. And this purse was so cute. It was a backpack, it was by Nanette Lepore. And it was really inexpensive, so. If you're looking for a purse, I definitely suggest going to Beals. It's always empty. Like every Beals I go to is always empty, but they have like the cutest stuff. Um, this is like, uh, um, it's London Fog, but what's the shape of this bag? Um, I forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, that was cute. They had a lot of um, Madden Girl bags. They were really inexpensive. I think this would be cute if you were a little bit younger. Um, yeah, this is another backpack. This one was studded. I think it was the net Lepore. I don't remember. I don't think it is actually now that I'm looking at it. And this backpack was super cute, you guys. Um, I'm not really into backpack styles just because I like to be able to reach my bag when I get to the counter. And I don't want to have to take it all the way off. But that was super cute. I love the eyelets. Um, this nine was bag was one of my favorites. This is the style of bag I like, the very structural square type of bags or rectangular bags. And then this was the second bag I really liked in this color. And I was gonna get it and my boyfriend was like, don't you already have that bag? And I don't, but a lot of my bags look the same because I just know what I like. But this was super cute, I really like the color. That's one of my favorite colors, that like taupey mauve color. Next, I went over to the jewelry. And they have these Gloria Vanderbilt earrings, which I haven't seen Gloria Vanderbilt in so long. Um, I didn't even know she made jewelry. Um, I saw these, and these remind me of those, um, the jewelry people make on TikTok out of like recycled plastic. So that was interesting. And then they just have like these little jeweled things, very cheap um, fashion costume jewelry. Guys, this was my favorite. This, um, like woven rainbow there's a girl i follow on instagram she um owns a boutique called tassel fairy and this very much reminds me of the stuff that she sells it was so cute like that clutch was super cute um it just looks like something she would sell and they used to see they have multiple pieces they had totes they had clutches they had like the little i don't know what that kind of bag is um they had this ice roller and kind of like just all the little gizmos and gadgets and doodads that, I don't know, they're kind of gimmicky to me. But um, yeah, they have those there. If you need to go to Belk's and you need like a fancy gimmicky razor or one of those face rollers, then you can go there. Um, then they have all these press on nails. And I know like because of the pandemic, like a lot of people have taken, taken, taken to doing their own nails. See, they have those jelly nails there. Um, so yeah, you can pop in there. They were $4. Um, storage shelves, this is all the storage stuff. And I like this one. This is by iDesign. And it's a really unique shape. This would be great in, a, um, in the refrigerator. It's very thin. Um, they have those gloves, the little scrubby gloves I see on TikTok. Then they had this little cabinet holder to hold all your plastic bags. Very useful stuff. Um, I will tell you those TikTok gloves, I don't like them. I have some. I got them because of TikTok and I don't like them. They had a bamboo dish brush and I don't know what that was. I'm so bad at voiceovers. Um, <laughs> they have this 12 pack of uh, bar mop cloths and I was going to get them, but I put them back for whatever reason. But uh, they were very... Not that first pack I picked up, but this one was kind of thicker and more absorbent looking. And then they had this stuff, this Miracle Clean. Has anybody used this by Greenberry? I was gonna pick some up, but I've just never heard of it before. So uh, comment down below if you use that and if you like it. Then I was so freaking upset when I saw this because I literally just ordered this from off of Amazon and it was like 12 bucks. It's a um, batter dispenser. And I used mine for pancakes and it worked really good. I really liked it. Um, I posted on Instagram how that went. 
But yeah, it was only $4 here. And then they have these glass oil and vinegar sets. I thought those were very cute. And I just love coming to Beals to pick up like, I don't know, just seeing what they have in with the little trinkets and gadgets. They always have some nice kitchen stuff. They have this, uh, it's by this brand called Market Finds. They had a couple of things by them, but this is a uh, citrus juicer. So you just like put that in an orange and like twirl it around and yeah. And then this is also um, by Market Finds, a, gold potato masher i mean i guess it's pretty it's fairly inexpensive um but yeah i never heard of that brand before and then i just went through the aprons i always go through the aprons and i never pick ones up so this one had a, a kitchen towel in the front and it says bless the food before us and the family beside us and the love between us um, I really just didn't like the design of the apron, so I ended up not getting it, but it was like eight bucks for that plus the uh, the kitchen towel, so that was a good price though. Then they had these little crab um, dish tiles, and these ones, I like these ones. They were so cute. They had a little fringe. They were like this nice, pretty spring blue. Robin's is egg blue, I think that would be, and they also had these gray ones. Like, if you know me, I'm a gray fanatic. Like, <laughs> and I definitely like this little, like, uh, is it called tucking stripe? I think that's what it's called. Guys, I don't know. And everything here was just so inexpensive, so affordable. This is a great place to come and get Tupperware, all those little, like, storage solutions. So these, I've never seen these before with the silver lid, and they were only $6, so... Yeah, it's just very inexpensive. And then they have the mugs. I always, every store I go to, I always have to look at the mugs. And this little cup, they had them in different styles, but these were like metal cups. So these would be cute if you went camping or if you had like outside fire pit. And then they have these really funny bird mugs. So that's the flamingo one, just $4. And I actually ended up picking up one of these for my daughter to put in her Easter basket. So I'll show you which one I got. I think it's right here. Yeah, I got her this little swan one because we have mugs because we drink a lot of cocoa and tea and all this stuff. So my daughter doesn't have one for herself. So next we go to all these serving spoons. Um, this one says baking is my jam. And then they had this little utensil holder, guys. It was so cute. It says let's eat in this nice like typewriter font. Um, it was black and then it had a little wood handle. It was only $7.99. I ended up passing up because I, I didn't need it. <laughs> but I definitely wanted it. It was very cute. And then they have this, guys. This little utensil holder that says tools. And we're moving. So I don't know how I'm going to style the new house. But I, I really like that. But I decided to pass it up until I just know what um, kind of design I'm going to do or kind of uh, theme I'm gonna go with in the kitchen. They had that little uh, resting tray and then some more resting spoons. This one says Fateful, $3.99. And then you have this silly little fish resting uh, for your spoon rest and it's also $3.99. I thought that was cute, it was funny. Um, a, a lot of utensil holders, you guys. So if you're into that stoneware look, this one was also by that brand Market Finds, which I've just never heard of before. Um, but it seemed to be like all over the store. Um, if you're a little into like the Ray Dunn type um, look, they have stuff like that. This one was one I liked too, this little speckled stone look for the spoon rest. It was very pretty. And I mean, like I feel like people be sleeping on bills, but they always just have like such nice stuff. And the fact that it's not crowded like TJ Maxx's is, is an extra bonus. Um, with Easter was around this time. So they had the gray boats out, but this would have been perfect time to pick one up for Thanksgiving. And I'm sad I didn't get one. I'm gonna go back and see if they still have it. It's by a brand called Fiddle and Fern because we definitely needed a gray boat for Easter and I didn't even think about it. Um, this oval baking dish they have very very cute bakeware here you guys and i'm just starting in my homemaking so i don't have like a bakeware um 
collection. So I definitely need to start on that. You saw me just pick up a candle. And then I was looking at these curtain lights because in my daughter's room, she has a lofted bed. Um, it's not here, but um, it's at my old house. So I have to pick that up. But she has this lofted bed and I wanted to put these uh, string lights up under it. So they had them, but I ended up not grabbing them just because I just want to wait until we move to see how everything looks. Then they had this really pretty iridescent uh, face, you guys. It was so cute. It was so unique. Um, and they had two of them. And so down here is like all like the glass kind of like tchotchke things. They had this, uh, what is this called? Hourglass, I think that's what it's called. And yeah, it just drops the sand down here. Um, if you're into that thing, then you can like put it on your desk or something like that. And then they had these glass jewelry cases. Guys, these were only $10. And I remember when everybody used to have these and here they are just at, at uh, Beals for $9.99. And they had a bunch of different kinds. I'm gonna show you all the kinds that they had after I pick up this little sign. <laughs> it is another one of those farmhouse things. I like the trim on the side though. It's very nice, a nice little detail to have. So yeah, here's another one of those glass cases. This one is chipped, but it's just empty on the inside and they have, um, this one has the little pearl pendant on top and this one has a different design of pearls and then this one has the pearls on the front, little pearl flower. And I just remember these being so popular like in 2000, I want to say like 9 or 10. Um, just a wood frame and then these little birds. My boyfriend is so into like beach stuff. And if you watch my last video, you know I'm not into beach decor. But these birds were something that I would be able to tolerate in my house. Um, this is just a little planter. I'm trying to get the price for you guys. Okay, so $14.99. And yeah, they have different sizes. And then this, guys, what the heck is this? Um, I know it's supposed to be a turtle, but the head just like... I don't know. I don't understand modern art, I guess. <laughs> then they have all these little glass birds. And then here are some more of those little wood birds. But I would be able to tolerate this kind of in the house. Beach, beach decor, coastal decor really isn't my thing. But yeah, they had a cute little lamp that would look nice in the little girl's room. And then we get over to the rugs, you guys. Their rugs are so flipping inexpensive. And I again still needed a rug to go in front of the kitchen um sink so i went ahead and looked through their rugs and i ended up making the wrong decision i picked out this rug you see me touching right here this is the one that i got but once i got it home i really just like did not like it but i'm not i'm not that put off by it just because uh it was only six dollars and then here we are looking at wind chimes. Um, they have this little plate and fork and spoon one I thought was really cute. And then here are some more planners, a different style from the black ones that we saw. They're just a little bit more expensive, but they, I think they were stone. I don't remember um, when I felt them. And here are the pillows. I needed a new pillow for my bed. If you know, follow me on Instagram, you know I have that uh, long pillow that says gather, which is meant to be a couch pillow, but I've just put it on my bed. So I ended up getting this pillow that said blessed, but I really like that gray one to the side too. So, um, I don't know. I'm looking at it now, I'm conflicted. You see, I was conflicted in the store, but I did end up going with the blessed one. But that's something always always can be changed later. And then they have these pink pillows. I didn't need any, but I wanted to check them out because they were cute. So $15. And that includes the insert. So like, that's a good price. And then they have this. If they would have had two of these, I would have picked it up. It was only $59. The color was cute. If I can hold the tag. Yeah, $59.99, it was on sale. And yeah, if they would have had two of these, I would have got, got them, but 
and we had one unfortunately and that's just kind of like how it goes when you shop at these stores but yeah that was my little quick trip to Beals. i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching bye